coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Aerox Aviation Oxygen Systems acquires Skyox Aviation Oxygen. A10 skips chopping block again. Lilium Technology Demonstrator achieves milestone. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Aerox Aviation Oxygen Systems acquires Skyox Aviation Oxygen. Breathe easier. O2 Aero Acquisitions and Aerox Aviation Oxygen Systems have acquired the aviation oxygen assets of Aircraft Industries Incorporated, doing business as Skyox. The acquisition broadens Aerox's line of portable oxygen systems for cargo, commercial, business, and general aviation users, as well as supplemental type certificates for O2 systems in a range of general aviation aircraft models. O2 Aero Managing Director and Aerox President Scott E. Ashton states, quote, our acquisition of Skyox will allow us to provide our customers with more options for oxygen systems for their aircraft. Yeah, one of the things that, um, that Skyox brings to us that, uh, that many people may not know is that Skyox has a series of legacy supplemental type certificates for installed oxygen systems. So when you're redoing your interior, if you want to put a semi-portable uh, oxygen system in your aircraft, Skyox has a number of older STCs to do that. So uh, along with the rest of the assets of Skyox, we bought those STCs and uh, we're in the process of evaluating them and, and hopefully bringing them back to market uh, for users, for owners of, of newer aircraft as well as older aircraft. Skyox is known for its click a breath portable oxygen systems that require no adjustments other than to set the desired altitude on the top of the regulator. Aerox's acquisition of Skyox closed on March 31st, 2022. The extent Skyox facility will be relocated to Aerox's headquarters in Bonita Springs, Florida. And after the break, Leonardo's Tilt Rotor AW609 Bridging Cultures. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Leonardo's Tilt Rotor AW609 Bridging Cultures. Her Highness Sheikha Moza bint Marwan Al Maktoum, a member of the UAE ruling family, took the controls of Leonardo's AW609 Tilt Rotor aircraft for a familiarization flight in Philadelphia. This marks the first flight of the AW609 piloted by a female, and additional emphasis was placed on the fact that she hails from the UAE. Her Highness began her aviation adventures at the age of 17 when she enrolled at Oxford Aviation Academy in Mesa, Arizona, USA. She eventually moved on to earn a Boeing 777-type rating. Forecasters predict above-average 2022 hurricane season. Forecasters at NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, a division of the National Weather Service, are predicting above-average hurricane activity in 2022. If their predictions hold true, this year will be the seventh consecutive above-average hurricane season. NOAA's outlook, which extends from June 1st to November 30th, predicts a 65% chance of above-normal hurricane activity, a 25% chance of near-normal hurricane activity, and a 10% chance of below-normal. For the upcoming hurricane season, NOAA is forecasting a likely range of 14 to 21 named storms, with winds of 39 miles an hour or higher. 
B-29 Doc Salutes Women in Aviation A Women in Aviation exhibit along with the Kansas Women in Aviation Hall of Fame is now open inside the B-29 Dock Hangar Education and Visitor Center in Wichita, Kansas. Approximately 2,000 square feet honors the women who were on the manufacturing and assembly lines, building wartime equipment and serving during a crucial time of need during World War II. The exhibit and Hall of Fame were made possible thanks to a gift from Spirit Aerosystems. MD Helicopters offers MD-530E Performance Upgrade MD Helicopters has developed a program to upgrade its popular MD-500E helicopter. The FAA-approved program transforms the MD-500E into the more powerful and capable type-certified MD-530F. The E to F conversion program consists primarily of an engine swap from the Rolls-Royce 250C20B to the more powerful Rolls-Royce 250C30, new main and tail rotor blades, and upgraded F model main rotor gearbox and tail rotor drive shaft. The improvements facilitate a higher 3,350 pound gross weight, increased cruise speed, and improved flight characteristics in confined areas. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now back to the rest of the news. A-10 skips chopping block again. The United States Air Force brass has had their knuckles cracked trying to push the Warthog's A-10 Thunderbolt II into the dust bucket yet again. It wasn't that long ago, actually it was 2019, when the USAF Material Command issued a statement about having completed re-winging the last of the A-10s and that the fleet would be good until the late 2030s. This project cost a whopping $1 billion to line Boeing's pockets in 2007 to replace the wings on about 280 aircraft. At the time, the USAF estimated that the upgraded wing should last about 10,000 flight hours and that thanks to some, quote, improvements in the wire harnesses, it's an almost damage-free process to remove the wings. Perhaps too many guards have changed post. Those who greenlit the re-winging are no longer around, and the new kids on the block want to start anew and make their own mark by securing F-35s because they saw no need for close air support. The A-10 has proved itself time and again as resilient to battle damage and a welcome supporter to troops on the ground. And after these messages, Lilium Technology Demonstrator achieves milestone. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Lilium Technology Demonstrator Achieves Milestone. Lilium GmbH, the German aerospace company developing the VTOL Lilium Jet, announced today that its technology demonstrator, Phoenix 2, has achieved main wing transition, which is to say the aircraft successfully transitioned from hover to wingborne flight. From a physics and aerodynamic perspective, transition entails the transference of lift from vertical engine thrust to horizontal laminar relative wind flow over the test vehicle's wings. Lilium's achievement marks the first instance of a full-size electric jet aircraft achieving main wing transition, a landmark for both Lilium and electric aviation as a whole. Lilium states Phoenix 2 developed aerodynamic across its entire main wing while remaining both stable and within control parameters predicted by the company's proprietary flight dynamics model. Lilium co-founder and Phoenix program chief engineer Matthias Miner said of the successful test, quote, Main wing transition is a huge step forward on our path to launch, and it validates our flight dynamics model. 
Full credit goes to the outstanding Lilium team who worked so hard to get us here and who remain laser focused on the rest of the flight test campaign, end quote. Lilium will continue its flight test campaign throughout the summer, expanding the Phoenix 2's flight envelope further, including transition of the forward canards and high-speed flights. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!